I noticed that the, uh, the next example with iterators has a closure in it. So we're going to do a quick intro to them before we get into that. And we'll just look at the very simplest concepts of a closure. And a closure is um, it's like an anonymous function. So it's a function without a name. Uh, you, you bind it to a variable if you want to use it. And um, the most uh, interesting part uh, at first is that it uses these uh, these two pipes instead of these brackets. And so um, I'll just show you right away what, uh, what a closure looks like. So my closure, and uh, so you declare it with these uh, pipes, and then you put uh, whatever you want on the other side. So this is a closure. And uh, that's all you need. And then you can call it just like a function. When you call it, you use the uh, the regular brackets. And um, so up to now, this is uh, you know exactly the same as a as a function. You know, if we had uh, function print, you know whatever, uh, takes nothing, it would look like that. And then it would just uh, you know have this here, uh, make it print. And the uh, so the first thing to know what makes a, a closure different is that uh, it can pull in values or variables or whatever. I'm going to say values because why not? And so let's say uh, you know, we have these numbers, let x equals 9, let y equals 10. And uh, if you have you know, a function up here, add stuff, and you want to say input, uh, you know, it's an i32, then this function is only going to be able to use this input and uh, it can't take anything else. But a closure can uh, can take in anything that is alive at the time. So inside this, uh, this code block, we declared x, we declared y, and these are alive. So the, uh, the closure can say uh, x and y are, and then it can uh, do an x plus y. So let's uh, let's print that out. I did not put the curly brackets in, and there you go. So it says x and y are nineteen. So you can see right away this is uh, this is very different from a function, even though it just looks like a regular function here when you're calling it. And uh, we can also do the same thing here. Uh, like in a function where you put in your variables and their types, you can do it in between the uh, in between the pipes. So now we can say, uh, well, now it's not going to uh, it's not going to work until we give it something. So it says, uh, hey, you told me you're going to give me one argument. So that is the same as a function. So let's uh, x and y are something x and y and input r, and then we have x plus y <clears throat> plus input. And then you can see, so it's taken the, uh, the value we give it, and then it's also taken this and this, x and y, and that is possible for closure. And then if you want to uh, make a longer closure, like more than one, one line of code, then you can uh, use uh, regular uh, curly brackets. So if you want to do that, so first you say, hey, this is going to be closure, and we have some stuff to do. So we will uh, make it uh, make it longer and put it inside the brackets. So we'll declare a number, then we'll say other number <clears throat> equals 10, and then we can say print uh, the numbers all together are, and then we want to have a number plus other number and actually let's take an input for fun so input uh, i32 so we will add uh, plus input and then we will also take a number from the outside here we'll call it first number equals 100 and we will also add that and let's see if it formats it a bit nicer there you go. And uh, so this is going to, let's see, my closure. And 
So it needs one input, so we'll give it a five. And that's going to add this plus this. That's going to declare this, declare this, and add them all together and make it 122. So that is, uh, that is what, uh, what it means when you see these two pipes. And we'll learn a lot more about closures, but uh, first we'll get back to the iterators and we'll see uh, an example right away that, uh, that has these pipes in it.